Practice Solutions. And joining me today are the Supermicro IoT and Embedded Product Managers, Andy Shi and Alan Chen. If you have any questions throughout the session, then you can type them into the Q&A panel on your screen and we can answer those at the end of the session. So now I will hand over to our first presenter, who is Alan. Thank you. Hello. Hello, this is Alan. Um, I'm located in Taiwan and I, my position is a solution manager. Just uh, I'm charged that today I'm going to introduce the 5G mobile edge and small box solution. Okay, if you have any questions, just uh, just let me know. Okay, let's start from this. Um, uh, as one of 5G equipment supply chain, uh, we need to know its potential and where the operator will invest most. Globally, telecom operators spend around oh, um, 200 billion a year on capex, and 70% of investment is on the red radio access network. That's what Supermicro focus on now, which is the uh, the key point of this slide. And about the RAN relative applications, what opportunity we can have? The new application are AR, like free gaming, live streaming, smart transportation, and smart city. The later I will explain the 5G and smart transportation and edge AI application use case to you. Okay. Um, regarding the RAN application, what Supermicro can offer? Let's start from this now. Intel rolled out the CPU pin as the picture showed. From the data center to SS node, Supermicro has a bunch of product to uh, to map them accordingly. This means Supermicro can also provide a solution from the data center to the endpoint. So uh, in our wise, Supermicro is the total highway solution. Let's take the 5G solution as, as an example. This is an example of for the 5G mobile edge total solution. In I mean, we're not by we're not Ah, okay, I'm using this. Okay, hi. Okay, hi. Between an ultra serious servers, in the edge, we have a high uh, performance and flexible edge server. Of course, you can work with the different supplier for this kind of solution, but you won't because it will take you a lot of time to do the integration and communication. On the next page, I will explain more detail about uh, our eco partner. Okay, in the open range this game, we understand the importance of the cooperation. As a leading hardware provider, we need to work with the outstanding software partner trusting to fulfill customer need. On the left side of this page, you can see that we work with the ready system, Perry Wireless, OTS Star, and Vavonia. They are all famous, and they are all the tier one software about the 5G or RAN or 5G core network software provider. And this software partner actually work very closely. For example, Auto Star and Vavonia leverage the ready system L2 and L3 and take Intel Flex Strength as a L1 to provide their total solution to their end customer. Okay. On the right side, we also work with the Red Hat, VMware, any Inyard, Edward, and Cisco. They are all famous and trustable partners. Next, I will explain the use case to you. The first one is about the 5G DU RAN application. We work with software partner Vavania for a Europe carrier. Our this customer choose the different solution from our uh, 
ready solution. For the low density on site solution, they choose the 1U10 and 10, um, uh, 10, 10, uh, 1090 for the coal with one and 3000 FPGA car. For the high density on site solution, they choose the compact bus test leg. 24 core platform with one and 3,000 FPGA crowd. And for high density in data center solution, they choose the 2D, 2U, dual core isolate platform. Geodesk the fork factor with the two, uh, and two, and, uh, and 3,000 FPGA card. We actually have another case where is in West Europe. From these two customers, these two cast, these two cast, we know our ready 5G solution should be the main street of the DU configuration. And so we do we are not afraid the customer request a different requirement for this the DU, this kind of DU solution because Supermicro has a rich product line and we believe that we can fulfill customer need. This is about the edge computing in smart transportation application in Asia. Customer deployed use the Supermicro IP65 cabinet with the E403-90-60 code to connect four 4K camera and different sensor to do the data collecting, like car plate, quantity, and to do the data computing, such as the abstraction, recognition, and do the communication among the device, even the car and driver, to warn them there's a car uh, approached from the rear side, for example. The last uh, use case is the AI edge application. This case is in H uh, South of Asia. The customer deployed the server with the Core i, DPU, and NVIDIA RTX 4000 GPU card on every system of each building to monitor the people who take every or and the fire and on other abnormal situation to simulate and predict when the when the maintenance need to be performed and also the sensor detect and recall the lift speed speed up and down and jacky moments by putting data through the algorithm to predict the life breakdowns Any question? No. Let's move to the fan base small box solution. Anna, we have one question in. Um, the question is how do we compete with purpose built RAN with ORAN? RAN and ORAN come. Can you say that again? How do we compete with purpose built RAN with ORAN? Okay. Um, um, then this, uh, I, I think this question is not, uh, uh, I would say this, it's already in I would say that this question is not short time to answer that, but it depends on uh, which kind of run you want to, to build. Um, I want to say that I want to say to, to build a run with all run. The all run is an organization. They, uh, they made a rule, they made a standard 
okay, they they build the ecosystem to try to, actually their goal is to try to close down to do the close down because actually um you know the 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 close um I would say the brain is open brain and the upside is closed brain. Closed brain it means that a kind, that kind of power provider is like a, a solution provider like a Nokia Ericsson. They are, I, I would say they are belong to the closed, uh, closed range. But in the, in the open range, in the open range, I would say that's, the, um, that's a new organization. So, So I would say that's not, uh, I can answer this question in uh, one minute or two minutes. Maybe we can, we can have a, more, a further discussion by the email or by phone at another meeting. Okay. Thanks, Alan. No problem. For the target audience. Okay, I saw the second question is that let me know the target audience for this solution. Um, I would say that this kind of this kind of solution is try to we try to promote to our uh, a partner and sales and channel to let them know we have a five G solution, which means that with our uh, 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 server and our current uh, hardware to conduct a complete 5G solution. So I won't say the, which kind of audience um, I want to promote to. I just want to uh, uh, to promote this kind of solution to our partner. Okay. So if your customer is interested uh, the 5G about 5G or RAIN solution, of course, you can contact us. We can do the, uh, we can do the further discussion with them, okay? Is that answer to you, uh, Moncalo san Yes, <clears throat> yes, can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, that's thank you. If there's no more, no further question, just uh, let's move on. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Okay. On this slide, uh, least you can see this small the uh, small box solution are very good for customer to put them in all of the computer room or data center if customer wants to off the workload from the data center. It can be the HAI, small and middle business servers, civilian and small, uh, storage appliance. It features small form filter, which is good for the limited space. And computing, computing capacity, which is uh, can handle virtualization and video streaming. Also, it features the storage function. Some model can load up to six hard drives, and the chipset on board can do the RAID as a RAID, a VR or RAID class. The following page, I'm going to introduce the high high end and middle entry A level small box AI box and all of them can load a selection card such as, such as the GPU and VPU card. This is the high-end, we call the high-end AI box. We call it high-end AI box is because the, it can load the high-end GPU or a VGA card. This is a building block solution, not our standard, but we do have a customer request this box. We Right now we have a, a customer in South Asia and Taiwan request this box. 
for the HAI and civilian application. This compact box feature is called iPlayform and two PCI slots, so it can load. So far, we write that uh, it can load the one uh, NVIDIA T4 and one RTX 2080 or two NVIDIA Movidia VPU cards. Okay. Then this the middle entry level AI box. The, I mean, just the, uh, we said we call it the middle entry. It means the, um, the performance uh, com, uh, if do the performance comparison it is in the middle, but if compare with the price, then price it belongs to the entry because the price is, is not bad. Okay, this is the standard skill solution. The compact box the features called I play for in one PCI slot. You can load the different Intel Mavidis card. So far, we validated two. We validated two. Um, for and add more videos chip say VPU card. And most of the customers use it for the HAI and civilian. Okay. You, uh, sorry, I got a question. You said the VC, VCA. I'm not sure just uh, uh, which card is VCA, but I should is that the 12, 12 Movidia chipset review card? Yeah, that should be the VCA. Hello. How about layers? Uh, let's check the, the form factor and power consumption, and then I will get back to you, okay? Because uh, we need to review the spec. Okay. Okay, let's move on. And this one we call the middle entry level multifunction AI box. I call multifunction it because the feature it also features storage, and the it can beat us. Uh, our, actually, one of our customer used it for the um, automation control in factory because it requests a lot. Um, it requests the USB port up to the twelve. But actually, this system can uh, can have the USB port up to 60 ports. Okay, this compact mini charge features the uh, uh, Core i form one PCI slot and four 3.5 inch and two 2.5 inch hard drive. Again. He can load the different Intel VPU card we validate. And most of our customers use it for the HAI surveillance storage application, like a VR. And uh, you can see the different card on the bottom of this slide. That's what we validate already. So we have a ready solution for our customer. Any question? I will. Oh. Okay. All right. If there are no further questions, let me do the recap and let you take away, okay? Why Supermicro? Because Supermicro provides the open architecture solution from the code to the edge to support all kinds of workloads. Because Supermicro has the many successful tests in the worldwide and Supermicro can offer the best service by the customer oriented design and manufacturer. And then, and the last is the Supermicro can provide, now we can provide a net certified product. 
Okay? Thank you for your time. Let's... Uh, Any question? If not, I pass to the med. Well, hello, uh, good afternoon, everyone. This is Matt. Uh, I'm a solutions P and uh, who take uh, care of the uh, finance system of uh, uh, Supermicro. Uh, in the past, uh, uh, Supermicro is a very famous uh, server provider and the manufacturer and the designer. But uh, recent years, uh, we start to uh, turn our eyes to the um, OT site, it means it's a uh, operation site, uh, IPC, because uh, we've got a, a lot of a uh, customer who uh, maybe purchase our server, but they want to us uh, to provide the total solution from the o IT and the, to the OT. So uh, recent years, we start have uh, some product uh, 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 into the embedded uh, areas and especially for the finance systems. So I will still uh, go through some of uh, features of the finance uh, system. The first, uh, it can support a, a wide operation temperature. The second is it can get some uh, water and dust resistant ability. Uh, the third is a noise free. These features can uh, support customer who need the uh, noise free, it's like a hospital customer or some uh, office customer, and uh, so you will have it's a big benefit of the systems. And uh, the final is a uh, better MTPF because uh, the system has no fan, so uh, it can support higher MTPF uh, when uh, by the fanness. Uh, Lots of markets we are target. Uh, the first is uh, surveillance and security, and the second is uh, transportation, and then also healthcare, uh, manufacturing, retail, and uh, AI. All of those uh, vertical market where has uh, uh, fitness solutions uh, requirements, uh, because they may deploy those systems to the uh, localized environment, uh, maybe just uh, put the system outside, or put the system in the cabinet or uh, uh, just uh, put the system into the factory with uh, uh, dust environment as like a uh, uh, factory. So uh, we currently we get a, a, a lot of vertical market and customers and we have, uh, I will, and I will show some application later to show uh, how we can support, uh, satisfy the customer's request. Okay, this is our uh, finance product roadmap. Uh, currently, we have a uh, high performance uh, finance system. It's, it is uh, based on uh, KB Lake U and also the Whiskey Lake U. Intel KB Lake U is an uh, Intel 7 uh, generation Core i uh, mobile CPU, and the Whiskey Lake U is the uh, 8 generation Core i mobile CPU. It's the uh, latest uh, generations. Uh, for the chassis design, we will have a E100, uh, so E100 series, so uh, upper two columns, uh, E109S and also E109W is a high performance series computing uh, server. And we also have a Apollo Lake uh, platform. Uh, although we call it is a E100, it, uh, we have a 9 AP word, it means the Apollo Lake. So we also have our Apollo Lake platform. Uh, for this uh, serious product, it, it will be uh, cost effective and also can support a uh, uh, wild temporary range. It can support up to the uh, nine, uh, minus 20 to the 60 degrees. And for this kind of uh, high performance system, generally it can support zero degree to the 50 degrees. 
And uh, we also have uh, E109 APDHIA. This system is uh, dedicated for the uh, uh, industrial automation uh, customers because we have uh, some special uh, chassis designs. For example, uh, it can support a dim rail. It, it also can support a 9 to uh, 36 uh, DC power input. And uh, it can support up to the six, the mass masses, um, six compor or four link card by the additional modules. Okay. Uh, Currently, we still uh, we got uh, questions. Uh, it's ask, uh, do we have uh, a matrix or a list of uh, uh, validation I/O modules like ADC, DAC, or uh, uh, some campus modules, and uh, we can uh, fulfill customers with always support. Uh, actually, uh, we will our system will have uh, I/O connectors. Uh, or is a uh, Example of mini PCIe or M.2, and uh, uh, we will support its uh, customer request by projects because the I/O modules is a uh, is a lot of kind of I/O module in the market. So we still depend on the customer customer's request, and we will borrow the sample to do a real test. For example, uh, we have a case a customer user E100-9P-9A. And uh, he also have a uh, required for uh, uh, more land or more compor. So we can use the um, uh, third party uh, IO module to do the test in our system, including the function and also the thermal test. And then we can buy, when customer confirm, we can build the uh, OEM system combined with OS to uh, sell the customer total solutions. It means this system can be manufactured by us, including the uh, uh, third-party module and also the OS. So we can provide this kind of a service, but it will be uh, handling by charge by by project. Okay. Okay. This uh, system is our beauty block uh, system. This is a fan-based system, but. Uh, uh, you are very cost effective because, uh, as you know, the, the fantasy system maybe have uh, some um, price up. But some customer, if he just buy the multiple and the need the chassis outside. But we also have uh, this kind of uh, solutions. We can, customer can buy the multiple, including a, a 2.5 inch and a 3.5 inch multiple, and also uh, buy the chassis. Uh, and we can assemble them in our factory to be the, uh, a super server and the server to sell the customers. So customer for the, uh, before the project, customer can use or sales can use the invoice form to assemble this kind of a solution. And uh, when customer test OK, we can build an OEM system part number to help a customer to build the total solutions. Okay, this is our uh, latest uh, edge fitness server and uh, with the Xeon D solutions. Uh, this is, this platform is uh, Intel Xeon D uh, 2123IT processor. Uh, we can support high uh, maxima to the uh, uh, four core and uh, 60 watts. And uh, this is because this CPU is a uh, 60 watt, so we can support a minus degree, uh, sorry, zero degree C and uh, to the 40 degree C operation uh, temperature. For these assistance, uh, we also can have uh, two SATA 2.5 storage and also have uh, M.2 and uh, for the uh, like a Wi-Fi module, LT module, and also the uh, NVMe. And uh, for this kind of uh, solutions, uh, it will very good to be the edge server uh, for to manage uh, uh, customers' vacation, just like in a retail store. I will uh, 
Currently, we have a customer use this system to be the edge computing server to manage his retail store. Uh, one store has uh, two systems. Why they have uh, two systems? Because they the first they want to do the redundant. So one system, uh, if the one system is failed, the other system can be the backup. And the application of this system is a uh, customer can use it to manage the, the kitchen and also the post information of a layer uh, store. So you, you will have a very good and a higher performance for this kind of uh, server and uh, applications. Uh, some customer will ask uh, uh, if this kind of solution, we have a lot of uh, fan base solution, why we need the fan uh, Because this customer just put this system be, uh, behind their uh, kitchens. So there are a lot of uh, dust, uh, smoke, or any oil or insects. So they, they don't want to have a fan because uh, this factor will have an influence to their systems to stability. So they want to use it to be the fan base. Ah, sorry, fan base system. So we pre-release the system for customers. Okay, uh, let me share some uh, application story. So this uh, this one is our E109 dash E, and that is uh, our uh, KB lag system with a high performance. And uh, in the uh, US, we have uh, we cooperate with a customer, and uh, he put this uh, system into the smart retail machines. Uh, currently, we have. Uh, uh, deploy it successfully to sell the, uh, um, uh, because of COVID-19, actually they sell the uh, uh, mask by uh, these many machines. So for this kind of solution, uh, they can use this the performance to uh, detect the customer and uh, uh, connect the customer uh, uh, credit card uh, data to the bank and uh, to finish the business. Okay, uh, this customer uh, uses our e 50 9 ap system to be the kiosk uh, control machines. Uh, because the kiosk actually don't need a very higher performance, but they will need the uh, 4HD display to show the menu. So even we you only use the uh, atom base, we also can uh, support uh, the 4HD. So customer can use this one to display the menu and also control the uh, printer and also control the touch. So the definite is uh, our old chassis can support the uh, VESA mount, uh, VESA mount breaky. So customer can use it to hang on it behind the monitor. Very, it will be very convenient. Okay, uh, this customer is use our E15 9 5 uh, This is a uh, small distance we designed and uh, it, it has a uh, five giga lens IO. Uh, this customer use uh, these uh, systems to be a gateway. Actually, it's, uh, uh, it's like a gateway with the firewall because the customer use uh, one port to connect to, to the, their IT, their server system, but the other four ports to monitor the end device the, the networking uh, 
ability and the networking data of the end device. But actually, customers said uh, they want to stop any hacker attack uh, from end devices. So they will put a firewall uh, software inside. Any hacker attack uh, actions will be stopped at this gateway and will not to connect to their IT servers. Okay, uh, this case is about a smart gas station. Actually, we got uh, several uh, similar applications of this uh, uh, gas station applications. Uh, customer will put our E50-9 IP or E100-9 IP. Both of them are atom-based solutions. They will put uh, the system to uh, communicate with the, uh, uh, the oil gas uh, machines. They use the RS4A5 to communicate with the machine and to know uh, how much oil uh, um, how much oil it still have and how much oil it uh, sells every day. And the, you, the system will upload the data to the regional hub. And the regional hub will use those data to, uh, to know if the gas station, the oil will be emptied. So they can send the oil tank to fulfill uh, several oil gas stations by one time. It will can save the, uh, like, uh, it will can uh, increase the uh, efficiency, also the save the money. Uh, also, the, our system is a uh, Intel Mobile Core IU system, but uh, it still can support AI inference applications. But we got the two customers. The first is he used the E109S, and the other customer used the E100-9W-H. 9S is a heavy leg distance, and the 9W is a whiskey leg. But uh, both of the customers, they use uh, true IP camera and uh, put the, their AI inference uh, model into our systems. Uh, they can monitor uh, if the worker have a, a right helmet when he enter the working place. If not, uh, they can, their AI inference model can send a warning message whatever he use the uh, speaker or send the SMS message uh, to give this worker a warning to, and uh, ask him go back to get the real helmet. And uh, every day, uh, their, uh, our systems will upload the uh, uh, video to the IT side. The IT side will uh, use their uh, very high performance to uh, and the video to retrain the AI inference model. When they get the uh, training, then when they uh, finish the new the, the training and get the new AI inference model, they will deploy those AI inference model to the machine again. And I ask the customer, the uh, actually is the um, AI uh, model provider. I ask the customer uh, why they need to retrain because the customer said if the AI model is not retrained. The, uh, pre the, the, the efficiency of the AI model will decrease day by day. Okay. okay. Uh, as I mentioned a uh, few minutes ago, uh, it's a E109 application IA. It's a, we designed for the uh, uh, industrial automations. And uh, this kind of uh, uh, system, uh, we have a customer. It, put uh, into the uh, subway gateway. Uh, it is very interesting is that uh, even we are, uh, this uh, system is uh, atom based. Customers still can use uh, this uh, system to uh, do the fast recognition and uh, also to monitor uh, the every visitor uh, enter and uh, uh, go out the uh, gateway. And if they can use the COM port to control the mechanical 
uh, of gateway and uh, also use the LAN port to upload uh, the data. So uh, customer uh, purchase uh, this system because it can support uh, uh, nine that nine to uh, sixty uh, thirty six volt DC input, and uh, we also do some uh, OEM uh, design for this customer to have uh, uh, twelve volt output. So customer uh, can co-work with us uh, with a slide OEM, and we can achieve the customer's request. This is uh, my final application sharing. Uh, we have a customer who use our uh, E109S uh, to be the uh, X-ray machines. Uh, this machine, uh, this machine can uh, take X-ray pictures uh, behind the uh, behind the patients. Don't need to put the patients to the uh, really uh, X-ray or CT rooms, and. Uh, our machine plays as a rule of uh, uh, control system inside. It can use uh, uh, our system, the uh, COM port, to uh, control the uh, uh, communicator with the battery and also uh, control the, uh, the rolling machine, the, the, the machine rolling. And also can use uh, our system to uh, take the picture and uh, uh, restore the picture inside. And every day that it, when the nurse put uh, this machine back to the some place, he can, uh, she can uh, put uh, the plug and to the charge uh, and also upload the uh, image to the uh, uh, hospital servers. Okay, uh, in my PPT, they will have a uh, detail of uh, our MP product spec. So, uh, it will be appreciated if you can uh, help us to promote the product. Currently, uh, our main target will be the uh, Whiskey Lake. It's uh, our latest uh, uh, Intel platform machine. It's a uh, system name is the E100-9W, and we have a full series from the uh, i7 to the Serum. And this is one is uh, we also have a uh, uh, Whiskey like a motherboard, but uh, with the same uh, base and the cost effective uh, chassis. And this one is our latest Xeon D fitness solutions. So, uh, it will also have uh, hard requiring from customer, it's like uh, uh, retail and uh, also the uh, uh, customer who need the uh, higher performance uh, edge server systems. Okay, so as uh, the other uh, the product spec, I can I think uh, uh, you already uh, finished. Uh, you already emptied uh, a lot of uh, uh, two uh, last year. So I think uh, you uh, I can share the PPT uh, with the detailed spec, and uh, I don't uh, explain too much here. Okay, I think I just finished my update. So, 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 uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, currently, we don't we don't have a military or defense qualified system because we know that some uh, those kind of uh, solution will have uh, very critical uh, requirement of the chassis. So, but uh, if you have uh, this kind of uh, solution or this kind of project. You can ask us, and uh, we can think uh, how to fulfill the, your fire. Okay. Okay. Uh, I got a question: Is uh, does the loss of fitness system require a special cooling environment? Uh, actually. Uh, all of our guarantee operation temperature. For example, if we guarantee is a uh, 15 uh, operation temperature, uh, it uh, will be with uh, uh, 0.7 meter per second uh, air force. Uh, it means uh, please don't put our system into the 
uh, entire and also entire um, very small uh, cabinet. It still need uh, some space to make the airflow uh, to uh, to our fence desync. Okay. Thanks, guys. I think that's all of the questions that we've had in. Um, so thank you for your presentations today and I hope that all of your questions got answered. If you do have any more questions, you can of course contact us um, and via your salesperson and we can definitely get those answered for you. Before okay. we finish, I, I just wanted to let you know that we will have a recording of the session and um, this will be held, this will be hosted on the My Micro portal. So. If you have access to that, you can find that in the channel training section. And if you don't, then you can request that um, you can request that permission from your salesperson to join the customer portal. Okay. So with any with either with no more questions, then I think we can end there. So thanks again, guys, for your for your presentations, and thanks again for joining. And we hope to see you next time. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.